All right, let's get started. So today we're gonna to be going over the cell cycle and mitosis. So with this little demonstration here, we're gonna be going through the entirety of the cell cycle, as well as demonstrating the process known as mitosis. Not to be confused with meiosis, which we learned about earlier. With this demonstration, we'll be using gummies again. Once again, I'll be using a butter knife and a cutting board, however. If you choose to do this too, make sure you get supervision when you're cutting things, but you also don't need gummies for this if you don't want. For example, you could use a red pen, a blue pen, a mechanical pencil, and a regular pencil. These are all fine, or any number of objects. The only requirement is that you have two of each thing. Gather your supplies. Let's start going through the cell cycle. In this example, the gummies, the two worms and the two gummy bears will represent DNA. The napkin will represent the cell body itself. We're going to be starting in G1 phase. Now this is the first part of a phase called interphase. Interphase is where a cell spends most of its life. A cell spends most of its life growing, adapting, and just doing its job. And later, when it gets to the cell division, mitosis, that's when stuff happens. But for now, we're starting interphase. So G1 phase, the cell is doing its job and its main goal is to grow. So during G1, our cell's main goal and the focus of its life is to grow. So right now we're in G, the start of G1, we're growing. Now during this growing process, we hit what's called our first checkpoint. So regulatory proteins check in on cell development regularly. It is at this point where it can basically analyze and assess, did everything go right? For example, if this was the cell growth, something's gone wrong, it would check for that. This is the first time apoptosis can also take place. Apoptosis is, is regulated cell death where cells actively d destroyed or kill themselves because they're damaged, they've done something wrong, and they're just kind of disintegrating and letting other normal cells go along. So at this checkpoint, checking it out, yep, we have fully grown. Good. G1 keeps growing, keeps growing. We think we're just about ready. Now the final checkpoint in G1 checks to make sure all of our DNA is still good to go. That all looks good to me. So the final checkpoint between G1 and S phase is making sure the DNA is okay. And this is important because now we're moving on to S phase. S phase is the part of interphase, the part of the cell cycle, where the DNA must be copied. The DNA has to be copied. So once again, if you remember from our last video, the DNA is going to copy itself. So now, once again, remember, when DNA copies itself, it makes a duplicate, makes a copy. So now real quick, I'm going to do the same thing for every dismiss video, and we stay together all together. We're going to expose the secrets, let's try to get something gummy, which is you'll be able to together. Switch, 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 switch. Yeah. All right, we've duplicated all of our DNA. This is the main goal of S phase. The purpose of S phase is the DNA duplication phase. It's replicating DNA. There we go. So now we are in S phase. So after S phase, all the DNA should be duplicated. Now. There's another protein checkpoint where the proteins are going to come in and make sure our DNA duplicated successfully, checking it out. Our DNA has duplicated successfully. That's good. So now we're in G2 phase. This is where the cell grows some more and, and replicates everything else. Essentially, think of G1 phase as it's growing, getting ready and prepping. It's just trying to get bigger. It, like it was just born, it was just finished being made. You know, it was just growing and doing its job. Then once it gets to S phase, it doubles its DNA. It replicates all its DNA to get ready for division. Now, G2 phase is when it duplicates everything else, all the other proteins, organelles, and things like that. Like, like basically it's grown and it's got the DNA ready. That's the signal to the cell that it's ready to start actually getting ready for division. So now duplicates everything else. 
So that's G2 phase, is when it grows and produces new proteins and makes all of its other stuff. This is G1, S, and G2 are interphase. So now we are ready to start mitosis. As G2 ends, we begin mitosis. This is the actual process of cell division. This is kind of the last and first part of the cell cycle. This is how one cell becomes two, so how you make more cells. Mitosis is divided into four main categories with a few in between. They are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So, let's start with the first phase. During prophase, DNA condenses into chromosomes. Nuclear membrane breaks down. Now, we haven't actually demonstrated that, because if we wanted to do this, instead of gummy things we've had to use, Correct, a bunch of string. So at this point, it was all still a bunch of stringy bits. Now during prophase is when it actually condenses down and looks like what we've made here. Now it is condensed down into its chromosome. Prophase is where DNA condenses down into chromosome and the nuclear envelope, the nucleus kind of breaks apart. Next is metaphase. Think middle metaphase. So in metaphase, all the chromosomes line up along the middle. Middle metaphase, they both start with M. Middle metaphase. So now they're all lined up in the middle for metaphase. Now, some of you might be thinking this looks similar to meiosis, and you're right. But what was the difference between this and meiosis? Yeah, so in meiosis, the homologous chromosome pairs went side by side. They were getting ready to divide in half. So half would go this way, half would go that way. And that'd be meiosis. Why would half go one way, half go another? What's the point of meiosis? Right, to make sex cells. So you want to get down to half your amount of DNA. Is that our goal here? Is the goal of cell division to make sex cells and get down to half? No, the goal of mitosis is to make exact copies. So for exact copies, you don't want half, you want all. So instead of two rows of 23, you would have one full row of 46 ready to split. So this is metaphase where they line up along the middle. So now this is an important checkpoint. Protein checkpoint comes in at this point and its goal is to check to make sure everything is lined up along the middle, everything's fine, things are duplicated, they're in the right place, the spindle fibers are attached. All right. Everything's lined up in the middle. All DNA is replicated. We are ready to go. Anaphase. Anaphase apart or away. Anaphase. So at anaphase, the sister chromatids are pulled apart to opposite side. So the sister chromatids are pulled apart. They're now separated into their own chromosomes. They're now pulled away or apart to opposite sides of the cell. So this is anaphase, anaphase apart or away. The sister chromatids have been pulled apart successfully. Now in telophase, they will start all clumping together on their half. They will start clumping and binding together, getting ready to go back to normal, to go away from chromosomes and simply become DNA again. So now two nuclear membranes are starting to form. The opposite cells. So now this last part isn't part of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, but it's called cytokinesis. Cytokinesis. To break or cut cytoplasm. Remember what's cytoplasm? Yes, that's the liquid that fills the cell. So it's separating the liquids. So this is when cell actually divides. So basically it kind of will pinch off at the middle, separating through so cytokinesis, the separation, the breaking of the cytoplasm. And now, we have, from one cell, we've created two cells that are now ready to go on doing their job. And they have the exact same amount of DNA, and it's the same DNA that the original cell started with. This cell has divided, one cell has successfully become two cells. So this is your final cell. So now we've done it, they have all the right DNA. We started one cell with one set of DNA. Now we have two cells with one set of DNA. So remember, this is different than meiosis. Meiosis, your goal is to turn one regular cell into four half DNA sex cells, but the goal of mitosis is to turn one regular cell into two identical daughter cells. So putting it all together, you went through G1, S, G2, 
prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and then finally cytokinesis. This is the process known as the cell cycle. And this last little prophase through cytokinesis is called mitosis. This has been the full process of the cell cycle. Hopefully this makes sense. This is Schechter Biology, mitosis, and the cell cycle.